If you ask me what drive my thinking on development, I have to say it is inclusion. I have to admit that I'm obsessed with inclusion. Inclusion is a simple but yet powerful concept, morally right and economically smart. Growth without inclusion is harmful. It's damaged the social fabrics, it destroys the trust of the leadership, and even wear down society because there is no commitment from the community. Inclusion is always a benefit and never a cost. Even Latin America, where for the last decade there has been fantastic economic growth and there has been tremendous decline in poverty, what we also find in our research is that one out of five Latin Americans continue to be trapped in chronic poverty. And the research has found that actually in many cases, part of the problem is that there are groups in society that don't believe that they have a future, that don't believe that they can access education, that there's something that they can do different to escape poverty. We know that human potential cannot be stopped, but what we need to do is make the decisions to ensure that it's not, that we identify those barriers that limit our potential. You see, disability does not discriminate. Each and every one of us in this room could at any point fall into a disability. It's the only minority group that anybody can join at any time. <laughs> so it's in your self-interest to think this through and to go back to your work or your schools or your, or, or your communities or your homes and say, scratch your head and say, hey, what can we do to make this place more accessible? Contemporánea demuestra. What contemporary history shows is that today the main cause of exclusion around the world is poverty. There are several factors to explain poverty, and there are many institutions and scientists who devote themselves to explaining that. But what there is no doubt about today is about the fact that corruption is one of the key factors in generating poverty in the world and therefore exclusion.